31st of January 2021, it's a very big, important date for the Blender VM add-on and for the future of open source for the AAC industry. I really believe that. The Unmold has just released a new version of the Blender VM add-on. This is a huge pack that includes around 110 features and fixes. Very, very big. Not only that, there are fundamental things that have been improved. Here are some of the new features, the most important ones. I will quickly go through them. The first one and the most important one, I would say, is zero IFC data loss during import export. Yeah, that's that's huge because now the Blender Beam Adam, it uses IFC as 100% native format. It doesn't modify anything. It's built in. It's just native. So this is huge. I don't know uh, if there is any other software doing this. If you know something, please let me know. Going further, we have twice as fast import times, which is uh, as well a very important improvement. Users will also experience much faster imports where the imports on average will be twice as fast. On some files which were affected by a presentation layer regression in the last release, they can be even four times faster to import. Also expect lighter blended memory usage. Again, very, very important one. And the same for um, export, blazing fast export times. User now no longer need to wait for exporting uh, IFCs. Exporting IFCs is usually seen as a painful experience, but no more. The new version has blazing fast exports. For example, a 350 megabytes IFC can be exported in only 20 seconds, which I guess is a big improvement. Going further, we have improved UI that adapts to your IFC version. So when editing IFCs, you no longer need to be a guru who knows what's in the IFC spec when entering in data now. The Blender Beam add-on interface will adapt to the particular IFC version you are editing and provide options like number sliders and drop downs to make sure you fill out your beam data correctly. <laughs> a very, very important one. And uh, uh, especially because it's more user friendly for everybody, right? Not for the, the core uh, nerds or uh, for the very technical uh, persons. So it's very, very important. Partial IFC editing is the next one. Users no longer need to edit the whole IFC if you don't need to. The Blender Beam add-on now allows users to edit only portions of the IFC without affecting the rest of the IFC. You don't even need to import the entire IFC file if you don't want to. The Blender Beam add-on is one of the few IFC authoring tools that keeps track of ownership histories, so you can tell who edited what and when. I will leave you to decide how important this one is. Whole new BCF XML system. This new version also comes with a completely rewritten BCF XML system with fully support for editing all aspects of BCF topics, comments, viewpoints and more. IFC Clash results also now export to BCF. You can do clash detection and view results in other apps or inspect issues in Blender. And this is something uh, like a collateral update that uh, has nothing to do with IFC, but it's something that um, uh, Blender Beam is trying to achieve to, to address to, more, to a more basic need to a larger audience, mainly uh, make it easier to create and generate drawings. So um, we have the beginnings of a whole new system of 3D annotations. Although we didn't get around to the full to-do to list of improvements, we have in mind for 2D drawings generation. You'll discover a whole new set of 3D annotations, which are in preparation for the new drawing system we'll be working on in future releases. Yeah, so this is just a, a, a snapshot or a preview, a very one of the first steps to get um, to a fully um, 
usable um, workflow for to create drawings laying the foundation for future updates with 100 native ifc authoring partial editing and full ownership and editing tracking we're laying the foundation for a very exciting year ahead at open source and free software for the entire industry expect improvements in drawing generation ifc native parametric geometry editing and even multi-user cross-application simultaneous IFC authoring and collaboration. The future is bright. Join us and change the industry today at osarch.org. A huge thank you to the rising number of community contributors who are helping code, test, translate, finance, and make all of this possible for the entire industry. See the next post for the full change log. If you want to dive deeper, uh, and read the entire changelog, it continues here. All these 110 features and fixes are written here. I will uh, leave the link in the description, but it's very easy to get there. If you go to osarch.org and here you go to community, you will find a forum and here on the Blender Beam add a new release. You click here and you are going to see here this huge release. Now, this was just a snapshot and if you would like to uh, find out more about these new features i will release a series of um, short episodes where i talk with dion about these features don't forget to like the video if you liked it or disliked it if you didn't and uh, stay tuned for the mini episodes with dion thank you for watching see you